had this three times. I'm going to try it again, and if something goes wrong into the tapes, I don't know. Um, this is about mind control murders, but um, I want to make sure you get this. And I want to say this one more time. FBI agent in uh, Grottos, Virginia. I was driving a Hustler car that was furnished by Larry Flint because he was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I was doing a medical malpractice book in Marietta, MD, a license to kill. And it was about mind control and programming people to kill. And you can do, use it in many different ways. Program someone to shoot a knife, program a whole army, etc., or to appear to uh, commit suicide when it's murder by mind control. Now then, I wanted, this was on 613-01, I paid 200, well, it doesn't matter about that, what I paid him, but Cab 18, Roanoke, uh, Yellow Cab Company, to take me to, um, actually I said it was, uh, um, it's Econo Lodge, I said Howard Johnson's up there, 9700 Lee Highway, Econo Lodge, and I was brought back 615 a couple of days later, or one, by um, this gentleman, and that's the cab uh, number, and I, this is the point I want to make also. It's Murphy, Falls Church. They brought me back, he did. He dropped me off in Mountain Pass Road in Troutville, and I had to pull all my stuff up again. This is what it's left me doing. I camped up there and was run and camped up and down the Appalachian Trail, starving, freezing, etc. But anyway, I was trying to go home, if you want to know why I was at the embassy. I was kidnapped in uh, uh, 41 from uh, Buckingham Palace and brought to Bolton, Alabama, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey, I married a children's. Peggy and Carl were twins, born out of wedlock, and back then that was like the kid committed a crime. And this, this was a pigsty, you call a farm. It was a hellhole. No other words for it. Their mother had killed them. They were called illegitimate. So I was placed there, I guess, at the Cortland Air Base there. It had just been built. So I put all this up. So now that I want to uh, jump to this, Anchorage Motel, when, uh, when this gentleman took me there on 613, and I came back uh, 615, uh, it's on Lee Highway, too, just a few, uh, not far down from the Econo Lodge there where he took me. Uh, I couldn't believe it was still there. It was still there in 01. I don't know about now. But uh, I, that's where, when I finished high school and graduated, our class trip from Moulton went to D.C., and that's where we spent a couple of nights at the Anchorage Motel. So that's why I was shocked it was still there. So I want to focus right now on the Anchorage and uh, Fairfax, and uh, so keep that in mind if you care if this is ever told. And the Murphy, the cab company, is one of the things. Um, so now that I'm going to jump back to uh, bring an update here in time, Murphy is associated with Alexis Murphy. She's a young black girl from Lovingston, I believe is the name of it, near Charlottesville, where the University of Virginia is. And uh, she was abducted, and I want to say this because this enters into where her car was found, parked. And Liberty, quote Liberty, um, is one of the clues where she was last seen. Now then, her car was parked in front of a theater either just outside uh, Lynchburg or in Charlottesville, I can't remember. But Alexis Murphy's body was never found, and I think she was last seen and murdered August the 3rd or 4th of 03. Uh, so now then, uh, I want to go to, uh, well, let me, I guess, go to August the 14th of 09, when State Trooper retired uh, Carl Barton, his wife, uh, Linda, brought me to um, uh, some corporate suites. And uh, after then, I stayed there 17 months, and
and paid it all myself. They paid the security deposit. And the murders, there's a couple of them that happened right after me. One of them was uh, State Trooper uh, Childs, uh, his daughter Heidi, and her friend that went to school with her at Virginia Tech near Roanoke here in Blacksburg uh, were shot out in the forest. Uh, somebody with a rifle shot both of them and killed them. And Mr. Childs, C-H-I-L-D-S, I think his name was Tom Childs, I've forgotten, um, Laura, these names are real prominent in this, the name Laura and Charles. And uh, Heidi, his daughter, was friends with David Metzer. His uh, father was a doctor. Both of them were shot, and nothing, nothing's happened about that that I've heard. But these are mind control murders, the point I want to make, and they're done in patterns just like the Virginia Tech shooting where the 33 were shot there April the 16th of 07. So there's a list of these. Uh, I mean, that's what's going on with the Colorado Springs with uh, Mr. Deer, D-E-A-R, Robert Deer. Uh, they're just like the uh, Columbine and um, uh, the Grand Theater with James Holmes. So uh, they're done in patterns, and they can be proven. I wanted to get back to the Anchorage, though. Uh, late that year, after I moved in, and uh, Heidi Childs and her friend David Metzger was killed, uh, the abduction of um, Morgan Fair oh, Morgan Fairchild, excuse me, Morgan Harrington uh, happened. Her body was found later uh, in the early spring, I believe, of ten, and they found it on. Uh, I need to go back, and I didn't mean Google it. It was either Anchor Farm or Anchorage Farm near Charlottesville. And uh, she'd been murdered. Uh, her father's a psychiatrist here in Roanoke, and he, um, I believe, taught over at Virginia Tech. But she was abducted in the University of Virginia at a Metallica con uh, concert. They found her body out there at Anchorage, and the name, that was the name of the farm, either Anchorage or Anchor. And um, the gentleman that owned its name was Mr. Bass, as in Fish. But I can go back, you have to go back in uh, almost like a background check to see where it pulls together the synchronicity. But I, I'll just make it simple and say when I come back from uh, up in D.C. that I've just showed you and gone to the Anchorage Motel where I finished high school, the cab driver left me at Mountain Pass Road in, uh, in Troutville. And Troutville is trout or uh, like a bass or uh, Finn Castle of Finn. Uh, so anyway, you get kind of the drift of it. Believe it or not, it can be proven. But um, the man that, uh, well, the, uh, there's a man that's been tried for killing um Alexis Murphy. They've never found her body. Uh, so uh, that was program murder. Oh, yes, it was. I don't even know if he was the one programmed to do it or what. They never found the body. But anyway, Jesse Matthews is a black man who just stood trial, I believe, this year up in Fairfax for uh, uh, raping a young girl from India. And now then, they want uh, Hannah Graham is a British young lady that was a student at the University of Virginia this past year. That was abducted and they found her body out in the forest on the side of the road. This is well, anyway. I'm not going to go into what all has been done. It, it it seems that no one here cares. They just want me gone. Like somehow I'm a virus, and they would if they get close and something's going to happen to them. That's not it. Uh, I don't have to be close to any of this. I was just telling about it. And it's not that people don't believe it. They do, and that's the problem. But uh, Hannah Graham was found, and uh, Jesse Matthews was charged with her murder and also charged with uh, Morgan um, Harrington's murder. Now then, they tried uh, for the rape uh, and abduction, and I guess he would have killed her, a young girl up in... Uh, Fairfax from India that they brought back and tried him this year and found him guilty. Now they want to uh, have him plead guilty and uh, his trials are not set in, for a couple of years, which is odd, I think. And they won't enter any of this into evidence. So they're deleting evidence out of this when they don't bring